Welcome, I'm the Word Nerd, and in this video, we're going to answer the question, what is the New Testament? In my last few videos, we've answered the question, what is the Bible and what is the Old Testament? And today, we're going to conquer, what is the New Testament? So, let's dig deeper. The New Testament is the second major division of the Christian Bible. It is the portion that is canonical or authoritative only to Christianity. Christians see the New Testament as the fulfillment of the promise of the Old Testament. It relates and interprets the New Covenant represented in the life and death of Jesus between God and the followers of Christ, who is the promised Messiah. Like the Old Testament, it contains a variety of kinds of writings. Among its 27 books are selected recollections of the life and acts and sayings of Jesus in the four Gospels. Then we have an historical narrative of the first years of the Christian church and the Acts of the Apostles. We then have the epistles, which are letters of advice, instruction, exhortation to the local groups of Christians and to people themselves. And then we have a letter which is an apocalyptic description of the intervention of God, which is the book of Revelation. The books are not arranged chronologically in the New Testament. The epistle of the epistles of Paul, for example, which address the immediate problems of the local churches shortly after Christ's death, are considered to be the earliest texts, and the books are instead arranged in a more logical narrative order. The Gospels, tearing the life of Jesus and his teachings, the Acts, dealing with the work of Christ's followers, after his resurrection, and then the epistles, which teach the meaning and the implications of the faith. And then we have Revelation, which is prophesying future events and divine purpose. The original 27 books of the New Testament were not written as part of a Christian Bible. They were written to be read at church services for the instructions in the faith, and to remember and preserve the life, death, resurrection, teachings, and sayings of our Lord Jesus Christ. They were all originally written in the Greek language and were written between 50 AD to 100 AD. They were actually quite slow in determining the final limits of the canon of the New Testament. But in the most basic sense, neither individuals nor councils created the canon itself. Instead, they came to perceive and acknowledge the self-authenticating quality of the writings. Throughout the north, south, east, and west of the Mediterranean Sea, which is where Christianity first gave birth, they had different scriptures and saw different scriptures as authoritative. Combining all of that together... They finally agreed centuries later what the final canon would be during the probably 3rd or 4th century. However, we always know um, now with more historical uh, findings and things like that why some of the books were rejected, why were they not, but we know that this is the final canon, and the other books could be good to read, um, but not necessarily authoritative as these books are. So, I hope you are inspired and encouraged to dig deeper into God's Word, and I hope you learned something. This is kind of just short and sweet and to the point, and I hope you enjoyed. So remember, God loves you, and he's always with you. God bless.